Whenever we execute a command in command line, we're just executing some underlying program. For example, something as simple as the list command, which we execute frequently to just show the contents of a directory, this is just a program that exists on our computer. Uh, and to see where this program exists, we can run the command which, and then the name of the command, which in this case is list, and that's going to tell us that the list command is found within this bin directory. Now, in order for our system to find this when we run the list command, we have to make sure that its parent directory bin is located in something called our path variable. And our path variable just contains a list of paths or locations where command line based programs exist on our system. To see what your path variable is currently set to, if we scroll down in the notes here, the first command we can run is just echo path. We're going to echo out this path environment variable. We're going to see what it's set to. All right, so what we see here is just a bunch of different paths. Each one is separated by a colon. It's all in one line, so it's a little hard to read. So here's a modified version of that where it's going to format it so that each path is on its own line. So that's much more legible. And skimming through this, you can see things like that bin directory, which is where we saw things like the list command existed. So now that we see this information, let's talk about how we can edit it to add new paths as needed. And as an example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a path uh, to a program on my computer called XAMPP. Uh, it's just server management program. And within it, it has access to a PHP executable that I want to be able to invoke from command line. Um, and the directory for that, you can see here, it's applications, XAMPP, XAMPP files, bin. Right, now this is purely hypothetical, it's purely for my example, you would replace this with whatever path that you're trying to add. Now where we're going to add this is to a config file called uh, etc forward slash pass. This is a admin protected file, so when we open it up, we want to open it up as an administrator so we can make edits to it. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is in command line, I'm going to use the sudo command to uh, execute this as an admin. And I'll just use the simple nano uh, command line based text editor, so I'm going to say sudo nano etc pass. It's going to ask for my computer's password. And then we could see what uh, current paths we have listed here. And what I'm going to do is at the very end, I'm going to add the new path that I'm adding. So I'll just copy this from my example. Then to save my changes in nano, I will do control X, type Y for yes, hit enter. And then finally, to make the changes take effect, I'm going to completely close out my command line program and then reopen it. And then going back, let's have it output our paths again, just to make sure our new path was added. And there we go. We can see it here in the middle of the list. Um, and I'll talk in a moment about why it's in the middle. But uh, the other thing I could do to make sure that this worked is I could use that which command again and see uh, where it locates PHP. And excellent, it's locating it within that path that I had specified. The other thing I could do is just make sure I can actually execute PHP. So I'll just uh, run it and have it output the current version information. And it looks like that's working as expected. Now, rewinding a moment, talking about why this was uh, this is showing up in the middle of the list here, even though we had added it to the end of that ETC uh, pass file. The reason is, is there's actually a few different locations where path information might be set on your operating system. Um, and coming back to the notes, I list some of those locations here at the very end. These are some other config files where you might see paths set. And this is useful to know because if you find yourself in a situation where you're trying to, say, remove a location from your pass, uh, if you're not finding that within that etc pass file, here are some other places to uh, look for it.